Hello everyone, Aniratak8 here. You know, there are a few things that bother me about all of the copyright rules and regulations that certain people on YouTube have been trying to reinforce more and more recently. One of these is the removal of AMVs. What's an AMV, you might ask? AMV stands for Animated Music Video, or possibly Anime Music Video, and is a song set to timed clips from one or more animations. Throughout this video, I'm going to say why I love AMVs, and why I think that it's sad that people try to remove them so often. Firstly, I've been watching AMVs for years. It first started with Disney AMVs, but since then, I've been watching a lot more. Not only do I watch AMVs, I make them quite regularly as well, although sometimes I feel too awkward to upload them, or else I'm paranoid about them being removed for copyright reasons, as so many good AMVs unfortunately are. But there's something I've noticed about my AMV watching. Either they introduce me to new animations, which I wasn't aware of, and encourage me to watch those shows, and possibly either buy them or buy merchandise surrounding them, or I buy the music that comes with them. If I had to count the amount of songs that I'd bought directly or indirectly as a result of watching an AMV with said music or artist in them, well, I'd be counting for a very long time. Rough estimate, I've probably bought upwards of 150 songs simply as a result of entering one or more of those songs on a an AMV. I know, crazy, right? And these are songs I may not have come across if had it not been for these AMVs. So why, oh why, are people so keen to remove AMVs, when in some cases they may do more good than harm, giving positive promotion for both the animation and the music? I guess people get antsy-pantsy of their content as being used out of context from the original thing, but in my mind, the whole point of both music and animation is to interpret it and enjoy it in your own way. In my mind, an animation and a piece of music can be made better by combining them, if it is done in an effective and engaging way. I guess one problem is that for every good AMV, you get five mediocre ones and ten crappy ones. But even then, one man's terrible AMV is another man's good AMV, especially if the cartoon or music involved is one that the viewer naturally likes or enjoys. I will admit that if an AMV features a piece of music that I'm either not bothered about, or I actively dislike due to my personal tastes, the AMV is automatically one that I am less likely to enjoy and watch all the way through. I will, though, make an exception for those particularly good AMVs, where the quality is just so mind-blasting, so to speak, that you can't help watching it even if you don't like the music or the animation. Another reason why AMVs are brilliant is that they are a good way for people to practice editing. Um, express creativity and gain an online presence, from which they can then extend into other kinds of videos if they so wish. Potentially, AMVs can ex even extend into parody videos or comedy, which is always good because comedy is healthy, because laughing is healthy, you know. So if you're into animation at all, or just want to check out some amazing editing to music, then I recommend checking out AMVs if you haven't already. In a future video, I might discuss some of my favourite AMVs, but for the moment, I will leave links to a few of my favourites in the description. Thanks for listening. See you later, and near attack 8.
or European, it's hard to guarantee. Is he gay or European? Well, hey, don't look at me.